Hey everybody, Jeremy here. So, today I'm just going to be riding around a little bit on my uh, little scooter here, Kimco Super 8 150X riding around the neighborhood a little bit get some practice in i haven't really been able to do it all that much lately and you know in between just like the weather a little bit family work it just hasn't been the easiest thing to do but i'm out here now I'm going to try to get some in before uh no, before it like rains or whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get some gas pretty soon. But as for now, just riding. So I'm also at the same time, I'm uh, wearing my new uh, riding jacket. You know fairly inexpensive one that you can find on Amazon it's a uh, it's designed for the summer so it's mesh it's got some mesh lining front and back and um, but it still has armor on the elbows the shoulders and on the back still armored out so And it feels good because it's, it's pretty warm out here. It's probably like around, shoot, probably like 90. If not 90, then close to 90. So it's always a good idea to, uh, to always be geared up as much as possible. And then also being able to stay cool and as long as I'm moving it feels pretty good you know I got a little bit of sweat going but you know that's not a bad thing so you know just as a beginning writer of course I've been listening to a lot of um, videos and stuff like on YouTube and reading a lot, best practices, you know, kind of thing. So I'm trying to take everything into consideration without focusing too much on the technical aspects of it to the point where it kind of gets in the way of writing. I'm telling myself, okay, you got to do this, you got to do that. Don't forget this, don't forget that. I don't want to do that. One thing that I do want to do, though, is uh, probably adjust this mirror here. See if I can adjust this mirror a little bit. Probably up here. Let me get to this stop. Yeah, you know, just want to work my blinkers a little bit more. Just kind of get used to everything. It's very important. And when I was out here writing, maybe I think like the last time I was able to do this, it's probably been like a week. But the last time I did do it. I'll, well, I'll show you because I came across something really interesting down this way and I didn't know that this had happened, you know, 
and imagine my shock when I saw it but you'll, you'll see what I mean in a minute just hang on let me get there it's at the end of the block I noticed this right after the 4th of July it didn't happen at the 4th of July but it's just when I became more aware of it All right, so you can probably see, see that police caution tape right there? I hope this is picking up on the camera. I'm looking over in this direction. Wow, look at that. So it looks like there was a, a fire that completely destroyed that house and like it spread to a few other houses. And that is awful. I'm not sure when that happened. But man, you know, when you have these neighborhoods like this and all these houses are just so close together, it's not surprising that when a fire happens and it just jumps from one place to another, and that sucks, man, but well, I hope everybody's okay. Hope no one got hurt. And, um, you know, I hope they end up in a way better than they were before this happened, you know? And I am curious as to how it happened. Not terribly sure. Not terribly sure how that happened, but you know, I guess does it really matter at this point? Huh. Just gotta be safe, y'all. Just gotta be safe. All right, it's getting a little bit darker around here. I'm going to take a look at some of these townhomes down the way. And just kind of see what's going on there. Now, one thing that that I've definitely noticed and I'm doing some things a little bit differently this time in my writing as opposed to what I've done in the past like you might have noticed me kind of not like rolling through the stop sign but uh, like normally what I would do, hey, that guy's going golfing. Nice. Normally what I would do is I would uh, come to a complete stop, you know, look both ways. You know, the kind of stuff that you're, you know, supposed to do. And, um, you know, today I was like, hey, you know what I want to do is I'm going to, you know, look both ways. But, you know, I'm, I'm not going to come to a complete stop where I got to put my feet down. And instead... Just kind of roll with it a little bit there. I wanted to do a complete stop right there. I'm, gonna, I'm going to do a complete stop right here just because of um, this car right here. And I'm gonna let 
this car come on down since there's no room for the both of us here okay so yeah that's just one thing trying to stay situationally aware whenever there's going to be a moment where it's like all right it's going to be the car there's going to be me it's going to be the car every time so i'm not going to try to overtake a car let me see if i can get there before they do anything like that like no dude if there's a car coming and i have to you know decide if i'm gonna yield the right of way or whatever that car is going to always be number one always no matter what the car always wins so don't even try don't even try all right I'm going to this is for the first time I'm gonna go down this way which is you know it seems kind of silly because if you've seen my videos in the past you'll see that I've been down here before oh, that guy's on a trike I've been down here before you know riding my bike but I never been down here on my scooter so you know because it's different in that way I feel a little bit weird about it a little bit nervous about it if you will And I don't want to be. And my gas is um, running a bit low. So, as you can see, I'm down to two bars on my gas. This thing only gets like 66 miles to the gallon or something. So, it's time to gas up. So I'm going to run over to this uh, Kroger. I'm going to go over to the, well, is it the Kroger? Yeah, I guess it's the Kroger gas station. It's just right up here. It's not far. This will be my first time filling up. going to be right up here <sighs> not that the Chevron at the at the Kroger gas station right up here Let me check my mirrors so in the moments like this they always talk about escape routes like it's case somebody comes up and they're not um, they're not stopping what I can do to kind of get out the way quickly. All right, so I'm gonna come across here. Oh, while my mind is on it, did you know that Chuck E. Cheese now has, uh, they're now selling their pizzas inside grocery stores why is there like a ton of cars up here when i'm trying to get gas like where did they all come from like really now but yeah um they now have 
their pizzas in grocery stores which was like a huge shock to me I didn't know that they did that but I actually got some difficulties of trying to fill something like this up the um, as you can see I only got like a half a gallon in there and it constantly wants to shut off on me and I've seen stuff like this happen like online all right it looks like it's plenty decently full but you know let's see where we're at all right so we're good and full now Okay, so two dollars basically. I put like a half a, a little bit more than half a gallon in here for two bucks. It only takes 1.3 gallons of gas. So, yeah, we are good. All right. All right, those clouds look like they're really starting to roll in. So let's head back. But yeah. First trip to get gas. Pretty successful. Now, another thing that I just did now was I saw that I had to turn my wheel in order to get out of here. And at the same time, in, if I would have had to brake, but you don't brake with your wheel turned. So I had to kind of look ahead of time, you know, just to kind of see what, uh, what was going to be coming up if I could make that turn without, you know, running into anyone or anyone running into me, really. So, yeah. So far, so far, so good. Got my hand on this brake here. Just in case. Because I'm, like, going backwards a bit. So. Yep, just got to get through this light. This is like my first, well, now this is my second time at a stoplight. So, I'm not uh, particularly thrilled. I'm a little bit tense, to be honest with you. But, it's alright. I got these cards right here help to trigger this light that's another thing that I'm kind of worried about is whether or not a light would be triggered when I'm just there you know but yeah all right now we got this car here this truck saw the side of them started to slow down a bit 
just in case. Yeah. Another thing, you know, like that whole time I'm like, hey, straighten up, straighten up that wheel. I'm like, straighten up the wheel, dude. You can't, <laughs> you're going into that left lane. You need enough time to stop and kind of look around. You can't, uh, you can't brake when you're turning, when you got your wheel turned like that. So that's what I'm doing. Going a cool 35 miles per hour. Kind of taking my time a little bit here. Went around these corners, I'm a little stiff but uh, not too bad still holding it at 35 it's starting to rain I see little droplets on my visor so we're definitely going to uh, get out of here because I definitely don't want to uh, I definitely don't want to start riding in the rain. I definitely don't want to do that because I'm still new at this and wet roads. This freaking car has been following me this whole time. I don't know how I feel about that, but I you know what, I guess it's a good thing. It's a good thing because there's going to be cars following me all the time. But anyway, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go down to this roundabout here. So I can turn around. All this stuff is good practice. You know, I saw that truck coming. I saw there was no way around him. And so I thought to myself, what are you going to do? You got this car on the right. You got this truck coming up. You can't blow by him. What are you going to do? I'm in a little bit of a turn. Handlebars were a little bit turned. So I just told myself, hey, don't panic. Let off the throttle. Straighten up the handlebars. Brake. And that's what I did. All right. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Jeremy. Peace.